Welcome back to the Scotty Davenport Show. And, Coach, we have some more guests from Norton Healthcare, of course, that new partnership with Bellman. Now, before before we get to our guests, though, I quickly have to mention that Sarah Chandler is our winner of our $25 gift certificate to Saluna Massage, 5813 Bargetown Road, Suite 104, phone number 749-9181, website salunamassage.com. And if you are, are a member of our studio audience every week, Coach draws for that $25 No, actually, whoever accompanied her is the real winner because it was Valentine's week, so he just won it. Okay. Well, congratulations to whoever's with Sarah Chandler this week. But joining us this week, we have, first of all, Shelly Barber, a nutritionist for Norton Healthcare, and Dr. Joseph Green, an orthopedic surgeon for Norton Healthcare. So, Shelly, you get them in shape, break them down, and then Doc fixes them? <laughs> That's right. Is that it? That's the game plan. That's what my trainer says. He constant, Brad Bluestone, our trainer, constantly says, I, don't, I just fix them, I don't break them. And just stares at me as he says that. Kent, you mentioned the partnership, and it's it's up and running, and it's been tremendous. And kudos to, to the whole Norton team. I mean, it's been super. And I think it's only going to get better. Yeah, it's been a great experience. I've been to a lacrosse game. I'm learning learning the sport. Uh, it's been um, amazing to be affiliated with the Bellarmine University as it continues to grow. It's a great relationship. We're looking forward to it. And unique to you all because you grew up in the community. Yeah, I'm a local guy. I grew up uh, about five or six You can say you're a St. X guy. I'm a St. X guy. Yeah, be yeah. grew up kind of around the Best right of the brightest, Coach. And, Still live right by Bellarmine, and that's my background, so I'm glad to be there. It's neat. And your background? I am actually from Oldham County. Went to Oldham County High School. We consider that the neighborhood. But it, it is neat, I think, when we have a partnership that's so local-based, and Norton being, I guess, one of the top two or three leading employers in the entire state. We're, we're, we're so proud. And, and it really is a team. And from Mr. Cox on down, everybody, John Cooper, Brian Jurich. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I can give her a shout-out. Yeah, sure. Talking about Jane. 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 <laughs> Jeff, I don't. Jane, Jane's going to. Everybody has worked so well together. And it's, it's, it's from a coaching standpoint, I was sharing with Dr. Green, it, it helps in recruiting. Because if it comes up, well, what happened? You know, I was injured. Oh, you were. Well, how'd it go? Oh, you won't believe the treatment we get here. We're fast-tracked in. We do this. We do that. And it really does. You've got to have every edge you can get in recruiting. From a nutrition standpoint, Bellarmine's made their commitment in terms of hiring a strength and a performance coach now. So now we can broaden his uh, – we actually did – we did body comps today with our entire team. Shelly, what, awesome. what kind of pointers would you give Coach Davenport? You know, he goes, he buys the snacks for the bus trips that they take. Let's what, change the subject what like should real he be, What should what, he be buying? What snacks are you purchasing? <laughs> We're not going to say. They do love Rice Krispie treats. We got fans who make gooey <laughs> bars. We, we Sometimes you got to keep them happy, too. No, I, I'm I'm all for that. Okay, Moderation tell me what I should put on the bus <laughs> for an eight-hour ride. How about some fruit? Can you get some fruit on there? Or we some? do fruit. Paul, f Paul, th uh, Phil, Thieneman. Fruit roll-ups, <laughs> probably. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right, right. Not Paul, the same thing. <laughs> Phil Thieneman through Paul's Fruit Market has been on board since I've been at Bellarmine, and we have fruit in our locker room constantly. We have a partner, a great partnership with True Moo because of replenishing after very difficult workouts. Oh, absolutely. Milk is one of the best things, especially chocolate milk, in, um, to repair that muscle as, after it's broken down. You should see them attack the refrigerator. If they would attack the rebounds like they attack the refrigerator, <laughs> we would, we'd would probably be, you know, 22 and 0 right now. No. Any other bus suggestions, though? Well, I mean, for the bus, keeping, you know, you need carbohydrates for, um, for fuel. I mean, that is your main source of fuel. So where do those come from? The easy things are breads cereals, um, yogurt. Um, I don't know if you have refrigeration on your bus, but even cereal. Are you kidding? They have satellite TV. They have everything on these buses. <laughs> yeah. How about breakfast bars? No? Oh, yeah, breakfast bars actually are fine. Some low-fat granola bars. Um, some of those meal replacement bars even, the higher protein ones. Yeah, we, and we do we do utilize the – I won't give the brand name, but we do utilize those, the, the protein bars. Yeah, I we think they're that. a great a, a great snack. Absolutely. People make fun of me, and actually in Coach Patino's book, I was reading it on one of the trips, and I'm reading it the next day, I'll look down. We still do room check on the road to keep them upbeat and positive, but and you'll frown on this, but we do give them a candy bar at night when we tuck them in. <laughs> Put it no, on the we pillow. really do. Put it on the pillow? <laughs> Excuse me? You put it on the pillow? Yes. Reese Gaines <laughs> does room check, and he keeps the candy. Look, she's laughing like. She awesome. Reese's <laughs> Cups? No, you don't. Yeah, Reese. Huh? <laughs> Reese's Cups? Yeah, they are Reese's Cups <laughs> given by Reese Gaines. 
<laughs> Maybe we can get a sponsorship with Reese's. <laughs> Coach Green, all right, let's, so you went to St. X, then you go to L Medical School? I did. I went to Louisville Medical School, then stayed for my training, then I did a fellowship in New York City uh, doing sports medicine and uh, joint replacement. How do you know, when, when do you kind of figure that you want to get into sports medicine? Uh, I think that kind of evolved through medical school. So I knew I wanted to do some type of surgery because I like using my hands, and then I kind of knew that I played sports, so that led me into orthopedics. And then through orthopedics, I kind of weeded out kind of stuff that I didn't have a strong interest in and, and found sports medicine and joint replacement was a great fit. I love seeing a variety of patients in the clinic, so young kids up to – know high school and college athletes and then i love seeing senior citizens too that's a great mix for and me tell us about your sports background your high school baseball uh, so player. i was a baseball player at st x and i ran a little cross country so i definitely visited swag's uh, okay. store for some shoes. everybody uh, everybody does in louisville <laughs> and so um i got too skinny running cross country so my baseball coach told me to quit doing that though uh oh, and so swag. Pl- played baseball throughout the whole time at st x that was that was my main and sport. played with quite a famous teammate at st x yeah chris burke was uh, one of my good friends who then um just he went a lot further than I ever thought he would. I mean, SEC MVP. I mean, hit a home run in the longest. So when he ever. hit that, were you watching it? Oh, yeah. And what would you do? Oh, I just went nuts. That's my guy. Oh, yeah, it's just good, wild. Good for you. Unbelievable. He, you know, and his father, of course, was a long-time yeah. coach at Bellarmine. Yeah. They're, they're tremendous people. Yeah. And Al he's Burke doing, doesn't miss a game. No. no. Al Burke's in his yeah. seats every game, and we appreciate it. And, and Chris must be a, quite a teacher. I know yeah, he's, he's doing a lot of individual instruction. He d- yeah, he does in town. And also, I think some of the major league players are actually recruiting him to fly up and work with them on their hitting, like he, Lance Burke. He's a really good analyst, too. Uh, he's great you know, he on He did ESPN. UL's yeah. uh, Super Regional at Vanderbilt. Does he ever do sports anchoring? I hope not. <laughs> yeah, actually, he did. I believe he did when UofL was in the World Series. There you go. Oh, he, did, yeah. he is actually um, my son's hitting coach, so oh. I do have experience with Chris. A little endorsement here? I'm endorsing Chris. He's a, he is a great guy. But well, let's keep him coaching hitting. That's right. That's right. Well, Shelly Barber, Dr. Joe Green, thank you all so much for coming in. It was, it was nice to meet you all. And, and Scotty, we're going to be back. We're going to have Swag Hartel. We've been talking about him all show. Swag Thank you Hartel. all for, for all you do. Thanks for the whole Norton sure. team. We really appreciate Absolutely. it a lot. And Sorry. Scotty's question for Swag Hartel after the break. The Scotty Davenport Show is brought to you by Norton Sports Health.